Yeah, my name's Amanda Fraser Gray and I'm a second year in the physiotherapy, uh, BSc Honours Physiotherapy at UCLan. Um, this was um, a study that we did in collaboration with the School of Performing Arts and um, w what we wanted to do was to analyse or to attempt to analyse what makes people clumsy. Um, so we were specifically looking at um, normal people versus people with a diagnosis of dyspraxia. Um, so the, uh, the information that was gathered, the data that was collected from it, was used in, in, in two different ways. We used it in the School of Clinical Sciences to analyse the biomechanical side of clumsiness and the other school uh, worked in collaboration to gather the data and they used it to produce an avatar which, um, which also um, tied in with what they were interested in. So. Um, and we, what we found from the, uh, from the study was that the data definitely does suggest that um, d people with a diagnosis of dyspraxia definitely do move differently from normal people. There is um, some definite suggestion that at certain joints of the body there is um, an abnormal movement going on. So, but because of the sheer quantity of the data that was collected, it's given us an in initial springboard to then move on to analysing in our lab, expanding the study with more participants and to involve, you know, analysing the muscles, the muscle activity. And we should be able to eventually, hopefully, get some answers that we can put out there, you know, in the, in the, you know as information for people. Because when you do a literature search on this, it's very limited, the information that's coming back. So that's suggesting to us that there is a gap there for us to fill, hopefully. It has, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a massive success for me. I I've never done anything like this before, and um, as a more mature student, as an older student, I've I've done a lot of things in in my life, but I've never done anything like this. Um, I've been quite in control of the project, and my my you know the team have really given me the opportunity to do that, which has been great. So I've I've learned how to capture the data, how to analyse the data, how to reproduce the graphs, um, the whole organisational element has been a learning curve for me as well, so I, yeah, I've got so much out of it really. We have a research module in the second year and the third year in physiotherapy. The dissertation's based around research, so already I feel that I've, you know, I've kind of got much more information under my belt for that. I feel much more confident about approaching that side of, of physiotherapy. Plus I would like to reapply for next summer's internship and, and to try and progress this further to, to do another study in our lab in Brook Building using Qualysys software with a wider participant base and you know actually looking at muscle activity as well so that we can really sort of you know build on what we've got this time. I really have, yeah. It's been absolutely brilliant. I've, it's been tiring. Um, it's made me think. I've had to problem solve right the way through it. Um, but do you know, I've got so much out of it that I, I, you know, I do it again and again and again. No problem.